Maria Stunning Chase, spearheaded by your 89, you must be delighted. Yeah, no, it was a great start to the competition. Um, I thought Riotty and Vian set the tone at the top of the ball um, as well. Um, I think they were 30 for two or something like that. So, you know, it was a good start for the boys. And to restrict them to 320, I thought we actually did pretty well in the end. Um, and at the halfway stage, we always backed ourselves to chase it if we had wickets in hand and took the game deep, um, especially with that small boundary. So, yeah, no, very pleasing uh, first victory. Talking of the pitch, obviously it was raining so much over the last few days, didn't really get a chance to see it. What did you make of the, of the wicket and maybe what par was at the halfway stage? No, it was a really good pitch actually. Um, it was a new wicket, so we wanted to bowl first because um, we thought it was going to be a tough ground to defend, especially the small boundary that other side. Um, so, you know, it came on beautifully um, and it didn't really deteriorate throughout the whole game. So, yeah, no, good start. And obviously you mentioned there Via Mulder and, and Wrighty setting the tone, but Tom Scriven as well, the way he played and particularly at the death, so important for us in those overs and getting his best day with a five, but how good was he? Yeah, no, Scriv, Scriv was awesome today. Um, you know, bowled really well. Um, I think his first over might have gone for 11 as well. Um, so to come back and bowl the way he did was, you know, really good to watch. Um, and I thought all the boys kind of backed, backed up their skills with the ball. Um, and I thought the lads fielded really well as well today. And coming into the bat, we got off to a really quick start with the way Rishi and Sol went about it. What did you make of the platform that was set in sort of the first 10, 15 overs for us to, to chase? Yeah, no, really good. Sol was striking it really nicely. Um, it's a shame he got out when he did, because um, it was probably a big one for him. But no, Rishi and, um, and Sol struck the ball lovely. Um, then Hilly, Akers, Pete, um, and then Vian. You know, every single one struck the ball nicely from the get-go, so yeah. It is a really strong batty lineup this year. Uh, you know, that's maybe difficult for you coming in at seven. I know maybe you feel a little aggrieved that you, you could be up high, but is it an important role for you in today showing that you know, there's always going to be time for you to bat? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, it's a little bit frustrating because you want to maximise as many overs as you can, but um, as long as the team's winning um, and to contribute like that today was pretty pleasing. Um, so yeah, no, happy. Your contribution was so valuable at the time you came in, especially a few quick wickets uh, with Akers and Pete going. What did you say to, to Vian when you came out at that time? Um, we actually like batting together, so the first thing I said was like, I'm glad I'm batting with you. So, um, no, he's good fun to bat with. We have a bit of a laugh and a joke as well whilst we're doing it, so it's always good fun. But, um, yeah, no, he struck the ball lovely and was kind of a, a calming head as well. Um, so, yeah, no, he's great fun to bat with. To bat with. And just finally, obviously, it's a short uh, turnaround to Sunday, as they, it happens quite a lot in this competition, back-to-back -back games. How important is it for the lads to start with a win and take that confidence forward? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, to start off with a win gives us good momentum into the early fixtures. Um, and then Kent will be a strong side on Saturday, obviously winning it last year. Um, so we'll go to Beckenham with, our, with confidence and hopefully we can get another result.